500 kilometers from Moscow, a sunflower harvest is in full swing. They call this Russia's Black Earth region, so named after its rich, dark soil. Three years ago, this land was lying idle. Now, thanks to a Swedish company, it's on the way to realizing its full potential. When we arrived, 30% of the land was cultivated and 70% had been wasteland for the past 5, 7 or 12 years. We've been ploughing for two and a half years and now we've started production. Black Earth farming has already snapped up more than 300,000 hectares of land in Russia, cultivating everything from sunflowers to wheat and barley. Its boss is convinced is making a good investment. There's a lot of land available. I mean, if you look over the Western Europe, okay, you can buy farms, but the price is rather high. So maybe from an economic point of view, as an investment company, you can't make, let's say, a bottom line profit if you buy a Western farm. But here you can buy a lot of land for a rather cheap price. The firm is one of many foreign companies plowing cash into the Russian countryside. Analysts say market forces have played a key role in making it attractive. The trigger was uh, a recent high increase in prices it's on, the, on the global market of soft commodities. That's uh, recently turned out investors' attention to this commodity because before that they used to invest in metals, in oil, gas. Those who've already put millions into Russian farmland still have to contend with corruption, bureaucracy and poor infrastructure. But after a few years of toil, they're now hoping to reap the rewards of all they have sowed.